Yo, what up? Welcome back to another episode of my least popular series, 10 Questions for Photographers. I'm your host, Jason, and with me today is Chris Bartolucci. Hey, Jason. Thanks for having me. How's it going, Chris? It's good. You may know Chris from her work on our YouTube channel, as well as co-host on the popular film photography podcast, Analog Talk, featuring guests like Matt Day, Nick Carver, and... uh, Well, we just had Ben Horn. Okay. I hadn't uh, finished my thought, but whatever. This interview isn't off to a very good start. Yeah, I don't think so either. Uh, do you think it's important for successful photographers to find a style and when do you plan on finding yours? Uh, wow. Um, well, uh, I think, yeah, I mean, it's important to, to have a style in the sense like you want your work to speak for itself. It's really great when somebody can identify you or your work by your images. As far as my style, you know, I'll get back to you. Family, engagement, and wedding photography. Mm -hmm. Have you ever considered funeral photography? Um, I, no, I haven't. But I know it's actually a thing. People do document funerals. I've done it. I've gone to a lot of funerals. It's terrible. Uninvited. Besides PCP, what drugs do you do to counter photography burnout? I drink a lot of wine. Hell yeah. I would say that. That's my yeah, answer. Respect. Um, film was like kind of like a, a, a reawakening for me because you know you shoot Portrait 400, that's a certain look. You shoot black and white, that's a different look. But I think in general, challenging yourself is always good if you're in a rut to say, okay, well I've never tried this film. Let me go shoot this role and see what it's all about. Or a new subject, you know, if you're, you know, you're in a rut and haven't shot portraits, try that. If you're, you know, tried landscape, if you haven't really done that. I mean, the podcast for me is actually one of the greatest inspirations because we get to talk to so many awesome people. You know, I every time we wrap up episode, I'm like, oh, I gotta go shoot all this stuff because I'm yeah. just like so fired up. Um, so yeah, find outlets that you can like draw from, like YouTube, podcasts, whatever. So I am a co-host of the Analog Talk podcast, a film photography podcast uh, with Timothy Ditzler. How we came about, our story is a little funny. I always wanted to start a film photography podcast. So I was kind of reaching out to people um, who might want to be a co-host. I really didn't know what I was doing at the time. We've been doing it for two and a half years now, which is crazy. Um, we've been lucky enough to talk to people like Jason Lee, uh, Ben Horn. Yeah, it's it's really fun. It's like I said before, it does keep me inspired because all these people we get to talk to. It's great to talk to people who are just as nerdy as you are about your favorite thing. So it's really fun. We're really lucky. So you had Jason Lee on. Yeah. When are you gonna have Kendall Jenner on? Because hmm. of this. No. I can ask her about this. She's a very accomplished photographer. I don't even know what camera she uses. Oh, it's this. Oh. Your current photography portfolio or your third grade macaroni art? Which one are your parents more proud of? Well, my mom's proud of like everything, so would be very torn between, but I hope she would pick the portfolio. If you see a dude walking down the street with a huge lens, like maybe he's hunching over a little, do you go introduce yourself or do you keep walking? This is another really good question because I have like, there's like, okay. Well, I'm a camera nerd, so I probably would introduce myself. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure it happens to you. People are always still sh shocked that like film is mm -hmm. like even exists. So people will be like, is that a film camera? Like, can you still get film for that? which is always a crazy question um, because we know like, yes, and there's new film coming out and this and this and that. We want to like go into like, I'm like, let me educate you really quick. <laughs> let me tell you where to go to get film. Let me tell you where to go to get a process. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it does happen, which is, you know. You 
you used to do a lot of wedding photography shot on film. Mm -hmm. Have you ever mixed up the roles and accidentally delivered the wrong set of photos? Like maybe instead of pictures of their ceremony, the happy couple got Polaroids of the aftermath of a violent crime you committed? No, that never happened. Ever? No. We'll see. Okay. First wedding I ever shot, it was a friend of mine who was a second shooter for this guy in our like town actually, and he was like, I can't do it this Friday, like can you do it? And I was like, no, I can't shoot, what are you crazy? I can't like shoot away, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. I remember I took the job and I sat in the car and I had a almost full blown panic attack. And then I was like, all right, I'm done. And I like got out of the car and went and shot my first wedding. Cause it's just like, you gotta do it. Yeah. You know, the more you do portraits and get comfortable with people, the, the better the portrait will be. I mean, I, I was shooting weddings with the Contax uh, 645. If you're familiar with that camera, it's like. Never heard of it. All right, well, it's an amazing six, uh, um, 645 uh, medium format camera that the images are incredible that come out of it. So I would say for the actual wedding and the formals, um, I would always switch to digital for the dancing stuff, but I would always try to shoot film for the majority of the day, especially with in, the, in the daylight. Can you address the rumors circulating around that you used to own a Contax 645, but you sold it for booze and gambling money? I definitely didn't sell it for booze or gambling money. That's what, I'm, what I've been hearing. Who's telling you? Who's saying that? So the awesomeness of that camera is it definitely has a certain look. Um, mm. The dreamy, like super blown out background or like blurry background, lots of bokeh. I would say pros is it makes incredible images. Cons for me is a, it was a little big. I'm small, so it was heavy. Mm. It's a Carl Zeiss lens, so they're they're just super sharp. Yeah, shout out to my boy Carl. Yeah, the, the homie. The thing is now they're so expensive. I bought mine for 35, and I think mm. I sold it for like 37. Yeah. But now they're like 45, 5,000, mm -hmm. and they could break. And you know. It's one of those things that if it breaks, you probably can't get it fixed. Mm -hmm. So it's a bummer, uh, but it's also a sign of the community and like the resurgence. So mm -hmm. it's like, it's one of those things where I'm, you know, I'm bummed about it, but I'm also glad people are out there shooting and yeah. getting their hands on film and keeping it alive. I'm hoping they go down. They seem to be, they fluctuate. So you kind of got to wait it out, but that's hard. What is your dream camera and why is it you'll never own it? Well, I hope I own it someday. I would say I would want the 645 someday back. Pentax 67 is up there too. This one? Yeah, the, this one right here. Don't touch it, please. Oh. How would you define your photographic style? Street, casual, or Freudian-esque, psychosexually satanic? Uh, I would say probably not any of those. Specifically, I consider myself a, a portrait photographer. Um, just overall, even if I'm, you know, if I obviously shoot other things as well. But people has always been what brought me to photography, why I love it. Um, so I would say I'm a, like a portrait photographer. That's my style. How many film cameras do you own, and how many do you need before you can take a photo? Uh, funnily enough, just one. You just need one. You camera? Just need one to take a photo. You have too many cameras. Way to, too many. To count. Yeah. So that's wow. saying a lot about me. I think I have a problem, actually. I think it says something, yeah, about all of us. Uh, well, that's it. Thanks for stopping by the interview. Thanks uh, for having me. Since you interview guests on your podcast, how did I do as an interviewer? Uh, maybe use a little work. Uh, what do you mean? We were a little passive-aggressive. Thank <laughs> you.